Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about my September favorites and not so favorites. Forgive me if this is a little bit late. I had a few videos pre-filmed because I was in New York for a couple of days for my baby shower and I'll leave all those things, everything linked down below. But, and those noises are Spike cleaning himself, so let's just excuse that. And I did try to make my bed, but we know how Spike is, so let's just, let's just deal for right now. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the beauty favorites of the month. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This I did not like. If you saw my full-on in-depth review about this, I'll leave, it down I'll leave it linked down below. But I did not like this for the whole coverage part because it's not a complete coverage like full coverage concealer it's not but I did like how it brightened up like the inner portion of my face wherever I applied this it's just so nice and I've never tried anything quite like this before so that is the reason why I kept it because I was going to return it but after a few days of trying it out I realized how I liked using it if you want to see the review of this concealer I will have that link down below next up is this NYC um, automatic lip liner in natural like the whole sticker is ripped off and the lettering is on the sticker <laughs> but this is my holy grail drugstore lip liner when it comes to like that fall lip I'm very into brown lips all year round like there were some days I'm pretty sure during the summer that I wore this because it's just I don't know I just like how brown lips look on me. She jumped off. Maybe I can make a bed now. Oh my gosh! Spike jumped off the bed, so I just had to take the moment to actually make my bed. And there he goes. He's probably gonna mess it up again. Just watch. He didn't know what. There he goes. Spike. Spike. Yo, I know you're not all up on my products now, dude. He's gonna come sniff my face. Cause when I have makeup on, that's what he does. Like, rude. I don't know where I left off on about this um, lip liner, but I just love brown lips and this is like the perfect shade of a brown lip. I don't know why it's called natural because it's really not. I've had this specific one for such a long time, but this is what it looks like. I've used it before in my tutorials and this is just my favorite go-to. My next favorite is this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. This is just, like you can't beat this. You get a bang for your buck. It's literally, I think, probably two or three dollars, I think. And it's just a really nice matte bronzer. If you're not into the whole shimmery bronzers and stuff like that, you just want something subtle, it's not too orange, which can be. Ugh. It's not very orange, which can be a problem for very fair-skinned people. But I get very, very fair in the winter time. This is me with a tan. I'm very olive-skinned, but this is me with my summer tan, and it already started to fade. But this has worked well for me all year round. When I just want a subtle matte bronzer, you could build it up, you could tone it down. I'm wearing it today, right here, and yeah, this is just my go-to and I tend to go to this because it's matte during the fall so that's why it was brought to light this month. Next is this Wet n Wild Mellow <laughs> This Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blush I was about to say bronzer but no. <laughs> Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blush. I'm wearing it today. It's like the perfect fall wine blush color. It's not very bright it's not too dark. It's like perfect. This has just been my go-to blush this month. It's not too matte that it leaves your face looking very flat. Um, if you look at it closely, it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's like you, you can't see it. It's, I don't know, you, you really have to like look into this thing in order to see it. And these blushes are super affordable too. Wet n Wild. You guys hear me rave about them all the time. This is my last beauty favorite and it's the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Medium. I've actually had this for a while but I didn't really use it all that much. And as you can see, like, I've dug into this thing. I have used this almost every day. I was using the CoverGirl um, Eye and 
what was it called? Eye and Brow Enhancer or something like that. You've seen me use it in my previous videos because I recently just started to fill in my eyebrows. I wasn't an eyebrow filler before, but then I just, I transitioned into the eyebrows on fleek mode and it really does make a difference. And I never really tended to go for it before because I have long, dark eyebrows. They're not super, super thick, but... It was just enough for me, but it does make a difference. And the problem that I had with the CoverGirl pencil one, it's too uh, much of a warm toned brown for me. It just looked like I had like red brown eyebrows, you could say, especially in pictures, and I did not like that. So I went and I dug this up for my collection, and this is just perfect. I used this first, and it's like a jelly kind, and then I used the powder to set it, and it just works very very well and it's what I have on my eyebrows today it's what I've been using for my to fill in my eyebrows in my recent selfies I'll have all my social media links down below I do update more about like random things on Twitter than I do on Instagram so now yeah. on to skincare favorites I have quite a few new skincare products you guys know my skin freaked out a few weeks ago and I didn't know what to do. You guys saw pictures on the blog post about the Bare Minerals Foundation. I showed more about it there. But it was just really bad. It was dry and flaky all around my mouth. I don't know what it was about. I don't know if it was because of my pregnancy or because of a new face wash that I was using. Um, even though I had used it before. But anyways, I talked about this so many times in my recent videos. So I'm not going to go into it anymore. The first one that I tried out was these this simple sensitive skin experts moisturizing facial wash it says cleanses and hydrates and i figured that something with not a lot of harsh chemicals would be something i should go for because of all the drama that was going on on my face and I've, i'm pretty much almost out of it i've never gone for moisturizing facial washes because i've always had oily skin so i've always tended to stay away from these things and I've always tended to go for scrubs because of the type of skin I have. I have very blackhead prone skin. So I've always felt like I needed to scrub my face away. And this proved me wrong because it is gentle and it's left my skin feeling very, very nice and clean. And I might just repurchase the larger size of it, but I'm just such a product junkie that I just like to try new things. Next up is this Mitchell and Peach Flora Number no. 1 Fine Radiance Oil. Like I said, I've always had oily skin, so I've never went for these products, and I got this in an Ipsy bag. I'm pretty much almost out. Like, I probably have two uses left. It's basically empty, and I'm really considering buying a full size of this if I find it. It just says a light oil with natural antioxidants and vitamins, massage two to three drops into skin, alone or under moisturizer. I've always been scared of using oils, and when I did, like I've used the Estee Lauder Advanced Repair Night Oil thing, and it's just, for me they're just oils, like I just never really used one and thought I need to have this and this needs to be repurchased. I've never thought about them like that but this one is just so light just like it says it's a light oil and it just leaves my face feeling so nice so bright moisturized it doesn't make me oily and even though that my skin had that little freak out of a dryness my natural skin is combination to oily and it didn't it didn't make my skin any oilier it didn't it just made it it was like a moisturizer basically so I really am considering buying this full size of this little baby I also picked up this Neutrogena deep moisture night cream um, you guys heard me talk about it in my drugstore haul but it's super super thick I basically got it because when I went to the drugstore, I just wanted to find anything with moisture in it so that I could clear up whatever was going on around my mouth. And it was really stupid of me because if I would have called my mom and I would have told her what was going on with my face, she would have been like, just put Aquaphor on it overnight and you'll be good to go. Because I thought about it after I went product crazy. And I put some Aquaphor on it overnight for I think two or three nights and it was gone. 
But I did discover new things along the way, and I did need a night cream anyways. So this one just makes my skin feel really, really nice at night, and I wake up with very, very soft, silky skin in the morning. Before, I was just using coconut oil as like my night cream, you could say, and I've just been going back and forth with coconut oil and this. Here's a close-up, and it's just a very thick cream as you can see. I've had to change up my daily moisturizer and before I had gotten these products um, I needed something with salicylic acid in it. My other face wash that I was using it was a Soap and Glory one. It didn't have salicylic acid and that is just very crucial for my skin because it's what really helps out my blackheads. So I ended up getting this Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer Salicylic Salicylic Acid acne medication, it's oil free, moisturizes dry skin, treats and prevents pimples. It leaves my skin really refreshed in the morning. And I've actually noticed a difference in my skin because I didn't have any salicylic acid um, in any of my face products. So this has been working out very, very well for me. For my last face product favorite, it's these... Uh, Rite Aid Renewal Detoxifying Cleansing Towelettes. I wasn't really big on facial wipes before, but because it just it just saves so much time when I want to remove my makeup, I was using the Estee Lauder Take It Away um, makeup remover, and it's a cream, but it's just like extra steps, and this just saves so much time. I could use one for my entire face. I start off with my face and then I leave a few corners of it for my eyes and it just it works very well and this is supposed to be like a comparison of the simple wipes. So now for random favorites, the first one is this planner that I got from Target. It's just a simple small planner and it just has rose gold um, detail on it and that's honestly what attracted me to it because I love rose gold. And it's just been making my life so much easier. Like, I write everything in here. I'm not going to go all in detail about my day here. Especially with the pregnancy brain that I've been having, I forget what I have planned to do in the next 30 minutes. Like, I forget everything. So this has been helping me out a lot. Keeps me on task and actually motivates me to finish and cross out everything that I have written down for the day. For the last random favorites, you're probably like, whoa, what is that? And this is technically an eyebrow razor. I got them from Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get them from any beauty supply store. But they're uh, eyebrow razors and I use them for my face. Before I found out that I was pregnant, I was getting, um, facial hair removal, laser removal, what? laser hair removal, there you go, why couldn't I remember those words? I was getting laser hair removal, and I'll talk more about that, I'm going to do it again, but I'll talk more about that in a separate video, like hair removal tips and, and stuff like that, because I was born like a monkey. The thing with my hair is that it's very dark. It's not thick, but it's just very dark and long, and you could just see it everywhere. And I'm just hairy. Like, I'm just a hairy human being. Period. And I've lost all the shame with it. Like, I'm not embarrassed about it anymore. It is what it is. I just, I'm, I'm a hairy person. That's it. This actually is kind of like a form of exfoliating because it takes off the dead skin off. But all I have to do is... Go like this and it'll just start taking all the fuzzies off. I used it on my mustache. It doesn't leave it growing out stumpy. It just grows out exactly like how it was before. So I really, really, really like now, this. Now lastly, I'm just going to mention my not-so-favorites. And I'm just going to clear it out there. But just because something didn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. My first not-so-favorite is this facial sponge. And it's the Rite Aid Renewal facial sponges this did not work out for me it is so rough like even on my skin I tried to use it on my body because I just didn't want it to go to waste but I tried using it on my body and it was still too scratchy it's just 
It honestly feels like a sponge that I would use to wash my dishes with. It came in a pack of two, so what I did with the other one was I would use it to exfoliate um, this area right here because as you guys know, I was getting a rash there too. So I would just use it to exfoliate that area and because it comes, it's like a layery sponge, I would just peel the top layer off. Like, let me show you. As you can see, like, the layers come off. So I would just peel the top layer off and keep using it up until there was barely any left. But I could not use this on my face. It was just too abrasive. And lastly, I was so disappointed, but this Full Lash Bloom Mascara by CoverGirl. I saw people rave about it and talk about how good it was. It just didn't give my lashes all the drama that I wanted for it. If you like natural looking lashes like your lashes look better then this is for you but i would have to work really hard to make them look dramatic you know using a uh, eye curler eye, eye curler eyelash curler and applying multiple coats but it just leaves the eyelashes looking like natural lashes and for some people that works really really well so if you like that look definitely go for this but it just didn't give me all the drama that I wanted for my lashes which is why I found it disappointing and my not so favorite of the month I can't believe I forgot to mention but these glasses are my ultimate favorite of the month you want to know why because I have very very poor vision to me I'm looking at the viewfinder right now and it looks like I'm out of focus I put these on and I'm in focus so that's why if you didn't realize but in my previous videos there would be some clips that would be out of focus and I would always like write a little annotation or something like apologizing for it because when I look at the viewfinder I seriously think that I'm in focus and then when I start to edit I'm not in focus but I also need glasses to drive because I I literally can't drive without glasses I can't see part of the road sometimes signs I always used to miss exits because I couldn't see the exit number up until I was like it was too late for me to even go to the lane so these have been the ultimate favorite of the month. I don't have them on because I realized in my last video, my DIY mason jar, when I filmed the intro, the glare of my window was like all up in your face. I kept putting them on and off to refocus my camera for the close-ups of some of the products that I showed So you. that's it for this video. I don't know if it's going to be really long, but if it is, I apologize if you don't like long videos. Next week, I will be having a different background. I did order some new things, so I just really hope it comes out the way I envision it to come out. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!